Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Andre. I do boom and crash trading and Nasdaq trading. And today we're going to look at my strategy again on how to trade boom and crash. Okay, I'm going to go through it again. I'm going to explain it more in detail. So if you didn't understand some of my previous videos, this is perfect for you. Or if you're new here, this will also make sense for you. So I don't trade boom and crash like with one minute um, spikes. I don't trade that at all. I trade it ICT method, um, legit methods to trade boom and crash because just doing that little spikes is definitely a way to lose money. Um, I don't scalp like that. I want to semi swing trade boom or crash. So yeah, today I'm going to be on crash 1000. So let's look at the steps before we go and show some examples. Okay, so we're going to look for a break on the one hour or the 15 minute. So basically what that means is when crash breaks a low, we know it's in a bearish move. As most of you guys know who are semi good with trading or, or intermediate traders or, or pro traders or whatever, you know that when it breaks a low, we are in a bearish trend like lower, lower, lower. That's bearish obviously and higher, higher, higher is bullish. So every time it steps up, higher, high, lower, high, a higher, low, you know, all those things that is a bullish movement and when it goes lower low lower high lower low lower high um, it is more of a bearish movement so if it goes like this that is your bearish movement and if it goes like that that is your bullish movement so every time it breaks a high like that we know we we want to find that type of entry point and every time it breaks a low we want to find that type of entry point over there okay so let's delete that let's quickly look at an example so we will then draw the fib after it breaks on the one hour the 50 minute we will then go down onto the fibonacci tool and mark the 50 to 61 zone so just the general zone and then we will go down to the smaller time frames like the five minute three minute one minute for example and confirm our entry with that just to make sure that the entry is correct okay because we want to find that perfect entry spot okay so we are going to quickly look at an example over here. So we can see that this is a low over here. Okay, so this is a low and this is a low. So sometimes if it's double like that, it's even better confirmation, but you can just use one. That's also fine. But if you want to use like the zone, you are more than welcome to. But in this case, we use this low and we can see that crash broke this low over here and it closed beneath it which is perfect okay so when it closes below like that i'm just going to draw a line over here okay and now we are going to basically draw this fib from the top to the bottom of this move okay so we follow it moving down all this way until it comes and retraces up with a nice small bearish move upwards. So we will move with it downwards with our fib and then when it moves upwards back into this lower area where this line is, we will then know, okay, crap, we are getting close to our entry. So I'm just going to delete that. Going to make a zone. As per our rules, we're going to make a 51 to 61 zone. So this is the 61, that's the 50. We're going to make a zone. We're just going to draw a block there now we're going to delete the fib and we are going to say okay what is the order blocks there right what is the order blocks in that 50 to 60 zone now if i take this this order block is the area i'm going to look at because that is the most recent opposite candle okay so the most recent opposite candle most recent opposite candle before the move started so this downward move right that is the most recent opposite candle because it's a green candle it's a bullish candle that's the most recent opposite candle so if you don't know what order blocks is you can check out my other videos on my youtube i have a what is an order block or how to spot one you can go check that out but basically this is the order block that we're going to look at so now we are going to go as per the rules you can go down to the five minute for an entry Okay, because now we're like, okay, we're in the zone. We we are in the area where we're looking for that next downward push. Okay, so how are we going to look for that order block? 
is important. So now we're going to use the same rules again, right? Wait for the break of a low. So we are currently in this area, for example. It has moved into that bigger order block zone. So now we're going to wait for a break of a low again. So it needs to form a low first, but we can see here's a low here. It breaks that low here. And now we're going to mark the order block there, which is this candle over here. And now you will see your entry is there. Let me just make this a different color. There's your entry. There's your perfect entry. Your sniper entry. Now you could put your entry there. I would just put my stop loss above this little order block fair value gap zone over here. So I put it there super tight. This is a super tight stop loss, which makes it even perfect, more perfect for people who want to trade with maybe a smaller account and like sniping. And then I will take this all the way down. This is where I will go then to back to the bigger picture things and look at maybe go to this next low. If you want to, you can extend your FIB down with the TPs or stuff like that. But if you want to really have an accurate TP, let me quickly show you. You can take the box over here. Okay, so that high and that low, for example, sorry, let's say that high and that low, the breakage low over here and that high and the breakout with that. So now we will take, let me just add that tool quickly here. Price range. So we'll go from the top to the bottom of that breakout and put it below the box like that. So below the box. And there's your perfect TP over there. So that's if you want to swing it quite far. That's a very, very nice TP to work out. So the high of the box, low to the box, plus the breakout, plus that breakout. You can see there, plus the breakout. And we put it there at our entry point, plus minus, and there's the perfect TP. So for those who wanted to know. So if we go back to the five, we can just quickly go through that again. We need to just basically wait for the same thing on the lower time frame. Break of a low, order block, put it in, get that perfect entry in to confirm that it's going to sell further downwards. Okay, so beautiful. If you don't get this confirmation on the lower time frames, you need to leave that trade alone. Definitely need to leave it alone. Okay, so let's look at another example. Just a quick one, how to spot it, all those things. If you look at where crash is going now, it's basically breaking highs at the moment. So it broke this high over here. It broke this high over here, but it hasn't come back down fully yet. So if we, we are currently basically just looking at putting this fib up, 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 up until let's say, for example, it comes down to this. 61 order block there and moves up again to let's say there so that's just what we're looking at currently but we're just following it keeping an eye on it all those nice things okay so just another example of like one like that but the opposite we kind of prefer to sell crash and we kind of prefer to buy boom just because of the spikes and you don't want it to jump over your stop loss but if you look at like this one for example so there's a low there that was broken and nice important low or a support or resistance if you want to call it something like that but it was a support turned into resistance for this one you will take the high over there to the low over here which is a nice big one let me just move this away put it to the side and you will then see in the 50 to 61 area there's an order block there a tiny one there perfect little order block there and you will then go to the five minutes over here and find your entry to go down so you can see it happens all the time sometimes sorry sometimes you have this big move you need to wait a little while for it all those type of things um, and then sometimes you get the nice little 
quick one over here that was just a nice break in over there smaller move so don't get confused with it always needs to be a small move or always needs to be a large move. so this one was a nice little small move which was easy and quick but then you also get the bigger moves that was also easy to see but it took a quite a long while probably a day or two to get no, even longer day two or three to get to that nice entry point for this move down here so you could have been into in that cell already from there but it give, gave you another opportunity there but we are looking like it's going bullish again for crash 1000 so guys i hope you enjoyed leave a comment if you have any questions leave a comment if you have any recommendations if you like trading nasdaq or forex check out funded next link in the description great prop firm easy to pass and one of the best in the world with payouts if they don't pay within 24 hours they will give you an extra thousand dollars just to say sorry and also they give you a refund on your challenge and also give you a percentage on your challenge profits which is insane so go check them out below link there i love it i use them but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this crash 1000 video boom and crash you can use the same on boom just the opposite way like for buys otherwise you can also sell boom you can also buy crash it's up to you but yeah hope you enjoyed and i'll check you guys in the next one